this is a microscope. Um, it's a USB microscope. I believe it gives two or three hundred times mag mag magnification, which should be enough for my purposes. And it'll be a load of fun, so I can ha play with this with the children, as in we can go and, I don't know, look at the grain of the table, look at hair. This thing, the first thing I've noticed is a really fancy slide-off box, and then look at this. That's that's kind of special. They've gone to some, some length to package this nicely. Somebody's been really thinking of their packaging here. So, okay, here is the actual scope, which is a wand-type scope. The string, maybe I have to pull the string. Oh, I see, right. Okay, what have we got? Tips and adapters. Um, there is a disc with a little tiny calibration strip on there uh, and it's got this the cutest tiniest little tripod I've ever seen um, oh I see so this one's fixed these two move out oh that releases this okay and that turns that so okay so you can set that up to look at something and of course there's some manual and documentation stuff there okay well I do like this box. I mean, it's <laughs> it's very plush, isn't it? Makes it look like some, I don't know, iPad? I've never seen packaging like that for something like this. It's quite a strange bit of packaging. Okay, so all of this junk aside, um, let's see what the actual tool is, or tool's like. I'm going to watch my fingers. Obviously, I don't really want to get fingers on the optics. Um, so it says handheld USB digital microscope by SuperEyes um, and the oh okay I thought the manual was backwards it's a fold out little guide um, so we've got a manual focus up here and presumably you need some kind of tip because I can just see a bare CCD right there um, and on the USB cable you've got what appears to be a snapshot button there Right, I think that uh, I'm going to try and get this set up and maybe show you some footage from, uh, from pictures I get with it. Actually, it was a bit of a hit and a miss really. <clears throat> so this superized microscope came with some nice packaging. Turns out that half of this strange gear is apparently medical gear. Uh, the tripod is useless, so unfortunately there's there's not much use for that. Um, I had managed to try and use it with the uh, the laptop, and I got one or two good shots, but then it started to go horribly wrong. As you can hear, I'm waving it, and Windows is making its connect and disconnect sound, and there's a flickering here. Now, if I bring the LEDs up, so you've got an LED light there. That seems to be working fine. But uh, as it's making those noises, the, uh, the actual camera shots are freezing up. The software itself didn't really seem to do anything of any interest. Um, it was, you know, I suppose they might have some calibration and some drawing tools built into what's otherwise just fairly standard camera software. Um, but this problem, unforgivable. You can hear it now. It's just disconnecting and reconnecting. There's possibly a break somewhere in this USB cable. Maybe I've had a single faulty unit, I don't know. Um, and to be honest, it doesn't matter how nicely you present your product. If it really isn't just, just isn't working like this, it's going back. So I'm afraid I'm probably gonna to have to return this. So what I've now done with it, I've, I've returned it and replaced it with a different brand, uh, which hopefully has got a better cable connection. So let's get this open and have a look. And again, this isn't really for professional, you know, uh, surface mount or something like that. This is for me to occasionally use to look at stuff, electronic stuff, um, and also for me to play with the children. I mean, you know, you can have all kinds of fun with a microscope, right? Let's get rid of that. Okay, so we've got a USB digital microscope. Innovation beyond imagination. So obviously it's a different brand, it's a totally different style. Um, this one has actually got a little table underneath instead of that awful tripod the other one had. Um, and it says on here, 
5 megapixel image sensor, professional microscope lens, microscopic lens, 300 times magnification, uh, magnifications, slightly off iffy translation, photo and video, so we can get snapshots and can, we can record, uh, measurement, and we can measure up to one in a thousand millimeter. I'm sure they should have used the right, um, yeah, is that a nanometer? I think it is. Um, anyway, um, and Windows and Mac, so I suspect it'll just be like the other one, a standard USB camera once you're in. Um, so let's have a look. While this one doesn't quite have the presentation in the box as the, as the other one, I suspect the fact that it'll work is going to be much better. So we've got this little tiny calibration ruler again. Um, that will actually be quite handy. Uh, let me just try and get that so we've not got the glare on it. So this tiny thing here. Um, and then we actually have what looks like the scope itself there. The first thing I noticed straight away compared with the one I had to return is that there's some actual cable relief there. So the other one had no cable relief, which was obviously why it went. Um, and the lens, I mean, look at that. That looks so much better. Um, so you can actually see the LED ring. You've got um, an adjustment for, probably for focus, I suppose, at different magnifications. Um, and then we've got in here, the stand. Uh, let me figure out how to get that out. So, okay, the stand comes in two parts. So, in here, if we can just put that, there we are. So, we've got this bit which obviously goes onto the table. And the ring we loosen here. And does it just bolt on there? Yeah, there we are. That's nice and easy. All right. So again, like the other camera, uh, the other one, we've got a snapshot button here, I think, and this is going to be an adjustable adjustment for the, the lighting ring. Um, so I should now be able to tuck this down here, so I can get to this focus wheel. There's a nice, this nice little uh, calibration ruler. I'll be, I'll be the first thing I'm going to test in it. Um, it's got a disc with some software, Micro Capture Pro which is probably going to be some software that's simply USB camera viewing software, but with things like ruler and pointing helpers, so you can actually measure and calibrate. Okay, and the tiny little ruler. Okay, calibration ruler. Um, I think this is going to be best viewed inside the, uh, the scope. It's got, uh, it's five centimeters long or two inches long. Um, it has got both, so obviously both inches and millimetres, or inches and centimetres, not millimetres. Um, it's also got line widths in millimetres, so you can actually calibrate um, a 0.076 millimetre thickness line up to a, a 0.5 millimetre thickness line. This could be handy when I'm working with muscle wire, which I'm looking to do connecting muscle wires to the ESP8266. So this might be perfect, um, and maybe I can do things like human hair, which is not too dissimilar for some of the widths of muscle wire I'm going to be working with. And I will get you shot from the scope. So first, here is a picture of some magazine print enlarged through the microscope. And you can see the uh, printing patterns. You can see the different kinds of colours, so the red, the yellow and the blue, mixing to give you green, uh, and also the black ink. Next is a close-up shot of my phone turned off, a smartphone, and uh, the screen looks far grubbier at this magnification than it looked when I had it in my hand. Uh, you can see the pixels, the dots of the unlit pixels, very, very clearly here. Then I got to spend some time getting up close and personal with some chips. Uh, some devices soldered onto a board. The uh, numbers on these are still not that discernible and I find I had to play a bit to try and get the numbers so you could see what was going on. Here I was able to see some really dodgy soldering joints on a board I'd bought on eBay some point. The board works but uh, without the microscope I'd never noticed quite how dodgy some of these joints were.
and now I'm shooting film with it. So here I'm just kind of using uh, a little pokey tool that uh, came with my uh, my soldering iron to just enumerate these pins, um, just to tap them and just kind of get my reflexes and coordination under a microscope because it's not something I'm used to doing yet. And look, I can even feel that little edge there where there's a, there's a dent in the back of the chip. Look at these three dots here as well. I've not really noticed them with the bare eye. But can I actually get the tool into them? So one, two, and three. <laughs> you can kind of feel it de-denting into these, which is kind of cool. Lastly, I wanted to get a look at what was written on this little crystal here on this Arduino nano board. Um, I'm trying to play with the lighting, but uh, it's not really giving me much joy. Different focus levels. You notice the depth of field on this is fairly narrow to get everything in view. is not really doable. Um, but I can't really. There it is. AJ. I saw that. AJ. Right. Not sure what that tells me, but that's kind of handy. If I wanted to see what these scratchings meant, maybe they, uh, they're they something to look up on a data sheet for this type of crystal. Okay, so we've had some fun. Um, I hope you've enjoyed some of the screenshots from this thing, um, some of the videos, and uh, I'll probably be back, back next with some more ESP fun. Um, and uh, uh, please don't forget to to like and also to subscribe if you've really enjoyed this. I have got lots of video on my channel, um, quite a lot about ESP. There's probably going to be some more about Lego um, and other robotics bits and just gadgets like this that are helping me build them. Um, thank you very much for watching.